Toyota is a community art centre that provides a broad range of art classes for people um, that have experienced mental illness in one way, shape or form. And we provide this program on a weekly basis for people. And um, it's very much in terms of um, seen as helping their recovery um, in terms of their illness, but also looking at where they want to um, pursue their interests. Um, he said for us to give him a call when um, we have our next exhibition. The good thing about Toyora is that people can come every week, and and so I see people really make progress. You know, they, I see them learn, but they can learn at their own pace. There's not pressure on them. It's a, it's a relaxed, friendly environment. It's very beneficial for people to do artistic activities. I think it's very healthy. It gives people, it's good for their self-esteem. They can experience that here. We have a contract with the Auckland District Health Board to deliver the classes and um, everything else that we want to do, which is uh, to promote people's um, artistic endeavours has to be done through fundraising. So we do a lot of applications to the usual um, philanthropic avenues and uh, that facilitates exhibitions and events, publications of um, written work, all those sorts of things. And um, particularly in the last year with the relocation of Toyora to its new site. Because it hasn't been a long way to move, it's not been a major, such a major stressor, you know, because People have known that we're going to be moving for quite a while. We're often in mental health, people just shut something down, and put a sign on the door and say, well, that's it, the money's stopped, sort of style. One of the interesting courses that have just developed over the last few years is the performing arts class. Um, most of those people have never been and never experienced acting or been in that sort of environment before. Yes, maybe one more time. Erwin approached me last year uh, to ask if the class would do um, a performance piece based on um, uh, uh, for the Hearing Voices uh, general meeting. And uh, that sounded pretty interesting and it, it wanted it to be themed around Hearing Voices so the class all got together and we sat down and wrote a little piece and rehearsed it and then went and performed it. And they actually went on to perform it a couple more times. So. It's just really satisfying. It's satisfying watching them grow and watching them have fun and seeing how enthusiastic they are, you know. It's There's a couple of people here in my class uh, that were so shy they wouldn't get up and do anything, you know. And now they can't wait to jump up and make a fool of themselves, you know. Their, their shyness has gone out the window. So I feel really good about that. And I feel that they take that with them when they go and it helps them in their everyday lives and being able to, you know, communicate with people and not be shy. I am a singer-songwriter and, and I'm a guitarist. Basically, the um, music aspect um, for me is like, um, it's, it's in the blood. Lately I've been writing songs that, has, that deals with um, a lot of love ballads and stuff from that. That's basically what I've turned out. Before I used to do like hardcore um, inappropriate stuff like um, I was like in, my, in my dark days back then so I'm so over it now. Who can you save me? I used to have anxiety attacks especially when it comes to performing in front of people. Um, so that's what ha um, Toyota has helped me to do is get over my fears of stage fright. Most definitely Toyota has um, opened up some opportunities for me, um, not just for myself but also for my music class. Um, they had offers, um, offered us to go do a lot of charitable stuff to perform. Um, like two years ago over in Auckland Hospital, they have asked us to perform at three different sites, Children's Hospital and one at Green Lane Hospital. Um, also do other charitable stuff for like shared vision. Let me hear a B minor, just let's just start, start strumming a B minor. Tour has always had a strong music class and this has really also developed a lot over the last few years with our tutor Paul Gurney has pulled in um, a lot of diverse um, range of people and experience and they also perform um, for the public and so they've developed a great body of work. Yeah. 
inspiring well-being through creativity is our vision statement, if you like. Um, it's very much about access for people and providing an environment that's non-judgmental where people are able to express themselves creatively and get professional tutoring. For a lot of people it's a, a stepping stone um, to get into tertiary um, education or back to school or just getting into that sort of study work habit and whilst others they see themselves very much as wanting to pursue an artistic career and we can help facilitate that with them through exhibitions and publications of work. I've always painted on paper and kind of bits here and there but this is the first time I've been focused enough to actually do proper paintings on canvas and just keep doing them and building up an amount. My goal was to get 20 pieces together and um, then approach, get them printed out and approach a gallery. So the gallery I'm wanting to, um, I think the best one was going to be the depot in Devonport. I rang them up and they sound quite keen. Yeah, Toyora is great. Because like, if you don't have money for materials, you can just go there and paint. And um, you know, you don't have to be a frustrated artist. You can just go there and every day and just paint and um, have you know. If you haven't got money, you can still go there and and they, it's just relaxed and there's no pressure. This is our new space here, which provides all of the art class. Um, the environment for the art classes and we at the currently having the life drawing class. It's been a long time coming and it's the first time we've kind of had a building that was really suitable for artists. It's We couldn't do kind of oil painting and things in the last building because the ventilation wasn't good enough and the lighting wasn't very good and this one because we've fundraised to actually get the building you know up to scratch we've put in lights that are good and we've got actually got a space at the front where we can have regular little exhibitions. So we're in our new place and uh, we're still looking at trying to you know finish off paying some of the costs associated with the transition. We're looking at the moment our, our appeal is looking at trying trying for thirty to forty thousand dollars to cover not only some of the building costs still, still need to be paid but also just bringing in some more infrastructure into what we're doing. Um, Toro has always run in a very lean, in a very lean way, and um, it's it's just a great opportunity to utilise the space better. Well, Andrew's another fantastic example of what Toyora has been able to do. I mean, he's a fantastic artist, but it's been really important for him to feel uh, uh, that he's able to work in a place um, that he that he feels okay about. A fantastic opportunity for him was being. Uh, taken on board with Stuart Shepherd and um, Arts Access Aotearoa helped um, get Stuart across to the New York Outsider Art Fair and so Andrew's now being able to sell work overseas at that fair and further afield is a really fantastic opportunity for where things can go. He just paints you know on paper with acrylic and he does an amazing job just with the materials that he's got and he doesn't frame them or anything he just sells them as they are and he normally sells nearly all his work when he exhibits. Toyota has grown its attendance um, per term. We have now over 120 people um, registered per term in our, in our classes. The number has gone increasingly over the last three years, so we're just the relocation to this premises has um, been in response to that to be able to cater for that growth. We're really looking for um, more support from the community um, to be able to deliver what we do. It's a growing need and demand for our service and um, support, um, whether it's monetary or um, supplies, art supplies, um, really helps um, our budget um, to be able to deliver what, what we do.